Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the Intel HPC Developer Conference in Salt Lake City. And today I'm here with Justin from Intel. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. Great, great. Well, I understand you had a good talk about machine learning today. Can you tell us about it? I can, yeah. So the talk I gave is about anomaly detection and management. And the high level notion there is as we move into more and more complex systems, we'll want machine learning systems that can ensure those systems behave correctly. So Justin, uh, the question I have is, what is different about anomaly detection from other machine learning domains? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. So in a number of the other domains, uh, you're trying to look at something that might be an individual thing. So for example, if you're doing image classification, you're looking at an individual image, and you can shuffle those images any way that you want and still get a good trained machine learning system. With anomaly detection, uh, one of the principal problems that we have is you have to look at things over time. So viewing things in a time series makes things a lot more interesting. In addition to that, with anomaly detection, it's not just enough for us to detect the anomaly as it occurs. In many cases, we want to predict it before it happens. So for example, if we have a self-driving car that's about ready to collide with something, if we detect the anomaly just as it happens, that collision happens, it's not really helpful. What we really want to do is predict that before the vehicles collide and then manage the situation so the accident doesn't happen. So, so, so Justin, what has changed that has made anomaly detection so important today? I think probably the simplest way to think about this is historically when we've had anomaly detection systems, uh, human beings could manage those. So for example, if you had a tire in your car that gets low pressure, you'll get a little indicator in your car saying, hey, I have low tire pressure. And then the human, the driver says, okay, I'm going to take this to the shop and get it fixed. As we move into more complex systems like self-driving cars, those systems are going to need to manage themselves because the humans won't actually be able to manage them. They won't know how to drive the car. Uh, humans may not even be be present in the vehicle when the anomaly occurs. And so because of this, there's sort of this surge of interest in being able to not only detect these anomalies, but then autonomously manage them. Okay. I'm kind of trying to put this together, but yeah. can you bring in the Intel technologies into oh. this picture? Yeah. Yeah, so for as far as Intel technologies, a lot of what we're doing is using our advances that we're making in machine learning and then using them in high performance computing ways to solve these problems faster and better. So, so Justin, at, at Intel Labs, what kind of innovations are you working on in terms of anomaly detection? So right now the domains that we're focusing on are self-driving cars and data centers. Okay. And they're actually very different domains and the way you approach them from an anomaly detection and management is, is also very different. So for example, with the self-driving cars, a lot of the anomaly detection is we don't want to get into a situation where we have Intel BMW vehicles and we have malfunctions in the navigation systems that then lead to uh, human injuries or casualties like we've seen recently. On the data center side of things, what we want to do is be able to ensure that Intel remains uh, number one in that space. And in order to do that, we want to be able to detect anomalies for software going down, making sure the system's running as efficiently as possible, like performance anomalies, and then also having security detection. So making sure that in case we have intrusions, which are also anomalies, that we detect those and we manage them as fast as possible. Okay, so with today's headlines, that, you know, cybersecurity, that, that would be more important than ever, I would guess, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Cybersecurity is, is a huge interest for us. And in fact, I believe that Intel just stood up an ISTC on cybersecurity and machine learning. So there's interest across Intel in this space. So, kind of wrap-up question here. What is the blue sky kind of thing for anomaly detection and management? So I'm really glad you asked that question. <laughs> uh, Blue Sky really is, for anomaly detection management, is a system that's fully autonomous. And so what we're talking about is, uh, you can imagine a robot that uh, has a malfunction. Maybe it stops being able to move properly. That not only can it diagnose that as an anomaly, but then it can actually fix itself. Uh, this gets into really interesting questions of like self-preservation, and this also reemphasizes the need that we need to have things like AI ethics boards that help guide us and govern us as we're making forward movement in machine learning. And thankfully, Intel's already working in this space as well. Great. Well, luckily we have uh, Asimov's uh, laws of robotics to, to start from, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we all love Asimov, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for sharing that uh, with us today. Good job. Hey, thank you. Yeah, pleasure to be here.